This video is sponsored by Altium. In this video, we will look at why we should choose GAN. So if your training data is insufficient, no problem. GANs can learn about your data and generate synthetic images that augment your data set. GANs can create images that look like photographs of human faces even though the faces don't belong to any real person from the given distribution. Isn't that incredible? GANs can generate images from descriptions, text to image synthesis. So it would improve the resolution of the video that captures finer details, for example, low resolution to high resolution. Even in the audio domain, GANs can be used to produce synthetic high fidelity audio or perform voice translations. This is not all. GANs can do more. No wonder they are so powerful in the demand today. Data labeling is an expensive task and GANs are unsupervised so no labeled data is required to train them. GANs currently generate the sharpest images. Adversarial training makes this possible. Bloody images produced by mean squared errors stand no chance before a GAN. Both the networks in the GAN can be trained using only back propagation. This video is sponsored by Altium, the industry standard and most professional PCB design software on the market. I've used Altium for designing printed circuit boards to build my own custom Arduinos and high-speed on-edge computer vision projects. When I tested other PCB CAD softwares out there, I found that nothing came close to the flexibility, ease of use and power of Altium Designer. I mean, if you ever worked on PCB design for computer vision applications, you know that transmitting video signals is a very delicate task with many high-speed signals that you have to consider in terms of electromagnetic noise and crosstalk. Altium helps you to easily manage and route high-speed signals with length tuning to ensure that you receive clear image quality on the other end. What's really great is that we have partnered up with Altium to bring you an exclusive discount for our Augmented Startups community. Sign up with the link down below to get 30% off monthly of the perpetual license of Altium Designer. You can also try out Altium Designer for free for the first 15 days. Just click the link down below to get started. So let us look at some of the reason why the GAN is so popular. GANs can produce realistic photos. Have a look on these photos. These are examples of the realistic synthetic photographs generated with big GAN. So the generation of synthetic photographs with their technique big GAN that are practically indistinguishable from real photographs. It was discovered that instability is specific to large scale GANs and characterized them empirically, leveraging insights from this analysis. It was demonstrated that a combination of novel and existing techniques can reduce these instability. But complete training stability can only be achieved at a dramatic cost to performance. So in this work, it was found that stability does not come solely from generator or discriminator, but from their interaction through the adversarial training process. While the symptoms of their poor conditioning can be used to track and identify instability, ensuring reasonable conditioning proves necessary for training, but insufficient to prevent eventual training collapse. It is possible to enforce stability by strongly constraining discriminator, but doing so incurs a dramatic cost in performance. With current techniques, better final performance can be achieved by relaxing this conditioning and allowing collapse to occur at the later stages of the training, by which time a model is sufficiently trained to achieve good results. So the results or the figures here shown are the synthetic images generated by using big cat. GANs can be used to create cartoon assets. So these are the example of GAN generated anime character faces. And this demonstrates the training and the use of GAN for generating faces of the anime characters, that is Chinese comic book characters. So inspired by anime examples, a number of people have tried to generate Pokemon characters such as the po po uh, Pokegan project and the generate Pokemon with DC GAN project with limited access. So automatic generation of the facial images have been well studied after the 
generative adversarial networks came out. So there exists some attempts supplying the GAN model to the problem of generating facial images of the anime characters. But none of the existing work gives a promising result. So in this work, it was explored the training of GAN models specialized on an anime facial image dataset. And this work addressed the issue from both the data and the model as by collecting a more clean, well-suited dataset and leverage proper empirical application of DRA GAN. So with quantitative analysis and case study, it was demonstrated that the efforts lead to a stable and high quality model. Moreover, to assist people with anime character design, a website was also built with the pre-trained model available online, which makes the model easily accessible to general public. So we all love anime characters and are attempted to create our custom ones. So however, it takes tremendous efforts to master the skill of drawing after which the authors of uh, this work become the capable of designing their own characters. To bridge this gap, the automatic generation of the anime character offers an opportunity to bring a custom character into existence without professional skill. So beside the benefits for a non-specialist, a professional creator may take advantage of the automatic generation for inspiration and animation and game characters design so copyright free facial images uh, can be produced to reduce the designing costs in game production so in this work it was explored the automatic creation of anime character by combining a clean data set and several practicable GAN training strategies. It was successfully built a model which can generate realistic facial images of anime characters and an easy to use website service is also available online. So there still remain some issues for further investigation. One direction is how to improve the GAN model when class labels in the training data are not evenly distributed. Also quantitative evaluating methods under this scenario should be analyzed as FID only gives measurement when the prior distribution of the sample label equals to the empirical label distribution in the training data set. This will lead to a major uh, bias when labels in the training data sets are unbalanced. Another direction is to improve the final resolution of the generated images. Super resolution seems a reasonable strategy, but the model need to be more carefully designed and tested.